this uh, meeting of OIK Fiscal Court uh, order on this 10th day of October uh, 2023 at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to uh, put her on the spot. I'm going to ask uh, Sister Ann Melton to lead us in the prayer and the pledge. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help those in charge engage in meaningful discussion and allow them to grow closer as a group and nurture the bonds of a community. In your name we pray, amen. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I will say that the flag is raising high today. Uh, it's sad it takes a world disaster to make our country work together and be on the same page. And I believe we are right now facing the world's disaster. Um, before you have the minutes of the what was the day that meeting? Meeting, uh, meeting of the 26th of uh, September, and I uh, need a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to amendments? Corrections, discussions, or amendments, additions to the men. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like sign, the minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfer, including a late list, which in discussion I'm going to make a comment on. I'll make a motion to accept the motion by Jason Bullock. We'll give a second for second for discussion. Second by Michael McKinney. Uh, it's open for discussion. I'm not, I've got a comment. Where are they rewiring the security camera here on this building? They, they were wired with, uh, they, they were wired with outdoor, indoor wiring on the outside when they were put up. We've had to go outside and place not only the cameras, but the wiring going to the cameras because they were not conduit, not, not in the uh, check. And uh, there's reasons. I believe, I believe that was just one. Is there uh, uh, But they are fixed now. And uh, the, the ones that were out were mostly the outside ones. The inside would seem to be mostly okay. Uh, any other discussion? Why well, is there two bills when they're both out of the same uh, account? Half of it's from AOC and half of it's from the Community Center account. Anything that has to do with the AOC will split the bill in half. And there's a line item for AOC and then the line item for the community center maintenance. AOC is the they're out state the office account. Why would that be like that? Like the first bill here is community center maintenance and repair, and that's judicial center AOC. So they're out of two different accounts. Same number. Well, it's the same invoice. It's just split in half. Okay. Is all the uh, cleanups been done now, and all the weather related? No, we're still we're we're still on that. Which one we still like? To... We're talking. You're talking about uh, cleanups on the road right. and things. We still like several, and uh, they just sort of did what they had to do to get by. This winter, they'll be working on some all winter. We've still got, and a lot of ditches still. Uh, comment I make, I'm assuming, I wish Justin was here 
But since this is on the bills and claims, and y'all said it's public record, so I don't think I'm getting into the privileged information. Uh, but if you see on there to Beaverdown Nursing and Rehab Center, refund the net profits where they overpaid. On the late list. Yes, on the late list. That means their profit was two million one thousand nine hundred eighty four dollars would have been their net profit to pay that much. Because see they paid ten, then they paid eleven over by mistake. So uh, that uh, that tells you that there's some big bucks in the service that's paid for by Medicare and Medicaid. So it makes you think. Donnie's got, uh, I kind of direct that to him because of reasons he, he would be interested in knowing that. But uh, any other discussion on bills, claims, payments, and transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. We have the treasurer's financial statement. Uh, we can need to uh, uh, document that we got. I'll make a motion that we receive. Motion by Jason Bull. Second. Second by Larry Morty. Any discussion or questions for the treasurer? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Okay. Uh, the public health tax is being presented tonight. We don't have to prove it unless they went above a uh, uh, above compensating right. Larry, you're on that board. Did uh, was it just left the same, or take the compensating, or what was done? On uh, which one? Uh, on the. Uh, Health uh, the health department. They left it to say. Okay. So we just acknowledge we got it. Is all we do there. Yeah, I didn't say the rate in here. It just says the rate had been approved in according to the business. Yeah. So we, we don't have to prove it unless yeah. it's over compensating. Mm -hmm. Then we do. Yeah. By the new laws. So motion. Make a motion. Motion by Kent Callaway. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Place for me to sign this. I'm going to recognize uh, Oceda, Christina Carpenter. in front of y'all the last meeting or before the last meeting I believe and I had those wrong so I was wondering if you would take a look at these again and uh, review them I actually had um, it listed um, this is for the Kentucky product development initiative grant this is a grant that uh, Greta is applying for to um, extend the access road at bluegrass crossings Take it all the way down to the north, northern cul-de-sac. You get a little closer to the mic. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is a grant we're applying for. It's to extend the access road at the park to the northern cul-de-sac. And along with that will be surveys and a lot of other stuff. This will give us the ability to market our most visible part of the park. So we're great as applying for this, and we're asking the fiscal court to be the fiscal agent. And uh, the resolution that I brought in front of y'all last time, it had OCDA as the fiscal agent. And because we're a department of the fiscal court, they wouldn't accept that. But I didn't find that out until like the end of the process. So I'm asking y'all to review this again. The only thing that's different is instead of OCDA, it says the fiscal court. So the money will pass through us. Yes. So on, on that, where are you talking about? It, you know where it turns and goes back up to the new distillery? So are you extending that road? or on, Right on past the turnoff to the distillery. Okay. We're going to go all the way back there to the very northern cul-de-sac. That's where you can kind of see the park from the western Kentucky, you mm -hmm. know? 
And um, the way that uh, I've heard it explained is it'll it's beneficial to Greta and to the county because we can market the build ready pad a lot better because we'll have that road in there and then the most visible part, you know, that parcel. How much longer of an extension is that then you said? They didn't really, uh, that's part of the survey and I guess they'll give us final answers with that. Does Miranda have that resolution? She does and I have, a, I have physical copies if y'all want them. Do you have a number on the resolution there? The resolution was 2023-24, uh, I believe. Okay, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. To, second by Kenneth Callaway to approve uh, the uh, uh, resolution making Ohio County Fiscal Court the fiscal agent Agent for Greta for, for this grant. Thank you. Okay. And uh, Christina is uh, wears two hats. So I guess when she comes in, will they know if she's for Greta or for Old Cena? Because she's both. Thank you. And which is something we had actually wanted for many, many years. We wanted our old local economic development group to have a say, have a role in the uh, Bluegrass Crossings, because it is in Ohio County. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. Christine, uh, I'd like to say something real quick. I'd like to thank you for your work that you did on Mainly Local. It looks very good, this this uh, issue, as well as Dustin. Yes, it Bradford. was. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you so all. So we're responsible for administrating. Is that correct? Well, actually, fiscal agent, the money flows through us. Mm -hmm. You guys would basically administer. Where does the money would run through us? Is that right, Ann? And I would turn in reports. But we don't have to sell. Supplying you, is that correct? Correct. Right. This correct. is basically, for them, this is getting the grant. I'd get the grant if it had a match with it. Grilla would do it because it's for them. They would do it if they had one. Grilla is uh, uh, supplying the match. Whenever you get that paperwork, if you can make sure I have it so I can make sure the money is in place. Yes, ma'am. I don't know how much the grant is. Make sure we have it on the books. I'll send it to uh, you. All the folks out. Hold like that. Back. Thanks, Christina. Thank you. I have two personnel items. The first one is the senior center. Ever meeting, it seems like this. Hires a new sub uh, meal driver because they quit. Uh, substitute meal driver. Paid only when another meal driver misses. I'm going to hire Julie Boykin at the rate of thirteen thirty per hour. That's, I don't think that's the right rate. I think it's $13.53. Okay, I'll change it then. $13.53. Anyway, this person works as, as needed. That's why I don't have a start date because the first day she calls them. What, 22 hours a week? Uh, uh, it could it could be uh, up to, uh, what, most of the meal drivers drives 18. Anywhere from seven to 18 hours a week. It, it really just depends if somebody calls in. A lot of it's 22, aren't they? Yeah, part-time are. But the meal drivers never get that many. Okay, uh, you, you do a roll call, <coughs> uh, Ann. John, do I need a motion first? No, no, I put the name. Okay. There's not a motion. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morthew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. The next one is I want to hire Gary, G E R R Y, Wright, as an administrator in my office. Uh, at part time 100, 19 dollars and four cents an hour, uh, beginning on the 10:15. However, he may not start that soon, but I want, that's when I want to put it his availability. He'll be taking the slot that uh, Kenny Autry has when Kenny leaves, and he's getting notice that he's leaving in October. How many hours is this? Up to 32, but Kenny usually never worked 32. So that's a roll call as well. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Okay, we got 
proceed on the extension board. Uh, I want to make a, two appointments, and I think we've got. I have to do them separately in, in roll call. Um, to the extension board, upon their request, uh, I'm going to uh, appoint. No, it's not the extension board. I'm sorry. It, it's connected. These things run together. On me. This is the extension council. Not the Kent Extension Board. All these people come here are on the Extension Board, but two of the board members go to be on the Extension Council. And uh, so the first one is Chris Creech. Chris who? Creech, C R E E C H. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. The next one for the same board is a, a council, I mean, is Patsy Eddins. Which one is she on, Judge? It's on, they're, they're on the extension board, but this is for the extension council, which represents us at a higher level. Patsy Eddins, ED is on Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. And Bullock? Yes. Real quickly, what is the difference between the board and the council? The council is part made up of board members, but they go to a higher, that more regional level. Okay. Uh, committee reports. Um, we'll tell you about a committee meeting, and then we'll talk, go on. at four o'clock. At the next court meeting, which one do I say was the 24th? The 24th at 4 o'clock. We want to have a water committee meeting and we're going to invite the uh, be all, all the magistrates on the water committee. Uh, and we're going to invite the uh, uh, water board and the water uh, district uh, administrator. Director, I get all, all them. We're going to invite them to the meeting, and uh, we want to talk about water issues, and uh, including, I mean, to, to basically include the to talk about this uh, Chiggerville water line. It's a real, it's the main reason. The first item on the business, y'all, you will decide on a chairman among yourself because Larry Cam was the chairman and he's gone. So we write that down, everybody, that you will be here an hour early for that reason. And then on other committee reports, Michael. Uh, yes, we did have a uh, sit down, uh, David, myself, and uh, Carla Sandusky from uh, uh, Charter, which is Charter Communications, part of uh, Spectrum. And we spoke to her in regards to the uh, upgrades and the extension of broadband in Ohio County and the service area that they're taking care of. We at this time don't have maps, but we are going to entertain a meeting with her at a later date. And I've reached out to a couple of the other uh, entities that are going to be working on that expansion and the ones that are taking care of other areas hoping that we can get everybody together for a meeting, uh, if not one meeting, maybe one or two meetings, and uh, start getting some maps so that we can let the public <coughs> know what kind of dates that we're looking at for the broadband coverage to be taking effect uh, in regards to all of this money that has been handed out over the past few weeks. And uh, other than that, I don't have any other committee reports, but we are working diligently to get a sat down with these other entities to get um, some dates established for the maps and, uh, on how they're going to service us with the broadband in the entire county. And I believe it was uh, one right at $1.2 million that's been awarded, so the project should be moving forward. No other committee reports from the first district. 
Okay. Is any other committees to report? We did, we just had our monthly uh, OC the meeting Thursday. Uh -huh. Reporting we did meet. Yeah. Everything going good? Yep. Okay. Uh, any other committees meet? Uh, I want to let a gentleman back here introduce himself before we go to the individual. Sir, Dave, yeah. tell us who you are and what you're with, Dave. Microphone or no microphone? Either way, I, I'm hearing you good. I guess they don't. No, come to the microphone. I can. Sure. My name is Dave Jolly. I'm one of the owners of Green River Waste, which is a waste hauling company. We do some commercial work here in town, some industrial commercial work. Um, and just wanted to be here tonight to find out what's going on in the community and see if I can answer any questions or be of any assistance to you all. Thank you. Uh, we uh, appreciate it. And uh, we will uh, be hold of you. Uh, if we can, if you want to leave a card or something, uh, Charlie Shields, who, who ran out on us to do a truck wreck, is kind of in charge of that. Mm -hmm. So we'll get hook you up with him first. Okay. Who should I leave my card with? Or uh, anybody up here? We'll give it to Charlie. All right. Can I come up there? Yes, yes please. Who do we have now? Different ones, but uh, Republic of Services does most of it, and then. Uh, and then uh, pennies, they do a lot here. Thank hey, you, sir. Do we bid? Do we have to? Do we bid them out? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We did this time, but we didn't get apples and apples on our dumpsters. We did bid it out, but there wasn't no uh, consistency in what people sent us. So we did stay with the public. Dave, we bid this uh, on our dumpsters for the buildings every year. So if you keep that in mind, and uh, Early June. And okay. See what we've got. Put us bid. Uh, someone else did bid the lifetime, but they bid different size dumpsters and different frequencies on the dumping and things, so we didn't have apples and apples to compare. Does that RFP come out in June, or is it usually awarded in June? Both. Okay. But both. You'll 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 get the, the bids and then <coughs> the award them in June. And you have an idea how many customers it is when it comes out of ball, this ballpark? Uh, when you hook up with Charlie, he'll be able to get all that. Yeah. All right. He'll be able to get the information. Yeah, so we'll have sure a while to work it. on it. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you. I also want to recognize that we got some city council members, from, and I'm the mayor and city council member from Fordsville here. Really proud that you guys are here. We got the school board here, Miss Miss Helen, Daver. And Helen's been feeling bad. She feels good enough to be here tonight, so we're really happy about that. We have Miss Titchener back there with their father's house, which we're very proud of as a guest. So glad, glad she's here. And uh, and uh, I think everybody else is here because we have to be. I'm uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Donnie smiled at that. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. I move on. To the magistrate's uh, comments and and, uh, and requests and Michael, did you have anything other than your committee? No, not other than uh, talking with uh, Carla. I think that it's very promising that that these uh, that these people are serious about us getting broadband now. That right. it's been I sure hope later. so. I hope we can tell people things. I hope so too. Jason, I just a couple things. Uh, I want to remind the magistrates, we talked about the first responders meal mm -hmm. last um, last court meeting. Just sort of to remind you to be sure to talk to Ann and let her know what you're willing to do if you haven't. Um, and the $300,000 loan that we talked about, that we went ahead and, could you explain, we, we didn't have to use the loan for the three hundred. Right. Would you explain uh, that to them? Uh, 150 of it came from the IDA TVA money. Mm -hmm. And the other 150 I transferred from our emergency fund just as a cash flow issue. So as soon as we get that money back, I'll replenish it back in there. So we didn't have to take the loan. But they wanted to take the loan just in case we had to. We wouldn't have to come another weekend. Yeah, so they just didn't have to take that. I just sort of hard to explain that to you. Well, we sort of did borrow it from ourselves. Yeah, but we didn't have to go to the bank or grab out. Grab. Borrow from another account we had, which we had to put back when we come in. Uh, okay. 
Um, we have advertised for uh, a van with the wheelchair left and nobody responded. One other thing, just uh, um, you know, keep your thoughts and prayers for what's going on in the Middle East too. That's kind of scary the situation. It's so very scary. Pray for uh, pray for those people, families. Okay, and uh, that okay. that's all. Ken, yeah, and, and and do do what we talked about. Yeah, sure. So so we have a, a waterline project on Herbert Road. It's about eighteen hundred thirty-five feet. And uh, we've been waiting on the, that cost estimate for that. We have received that cost estimate within the amount of $2,414. And uh, since it's ready to go, I'd, I'd like to make a motion to move that to the top of the prioritization list so that it be open to issue so that it could be installed. Okay. We've talked about this. Uh, uh, I'll second this motion. Second by Jason. How many houses? Uh, three. Three houses, yeah. To the extension, is that what it is? Yes. We actually talked about this a few meetings ago and yeah. put it on the list, but it's ready to go, and anything below it's not ready to go. So we want to go ahead. We have the money, don't we? Oh, yes, yeah. The yeah. even the ones kind of front have the money for those, but they're not ready to go. Uh, now, uh, this won't have to be bidded out, will it? No, the, 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 the water. Uh, East Davis County. East Davis County Water District will put it in. That's what it's going to cost us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Are the two Herbert Roads listed on here the same? No, I think I think they're different, but okay. I, I need to get some history on it. So. Okay. Because one was yeah. put on, we've well, got the information in yeah. put on two different times. So yeah. I don't know if they're the same or not. Well, there's two well, mail lines too on here. The one that was put in last is the one. But we'll, we'll investigate that for a water meeting. Well, they're the same amount. Of, they're all with only 35 feet difference. So they sure do. We'll investigate it. Or do you forget we'll take one off? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying. Okay. You got anything else? What about you, Larry? Uh, I want to talk to you back there before you leave, uh, Dave. And uh, I just want to let uh, I talk to Scotty's, and they're supposed to be doing the black topping in the fifth is supposed to start it this week, but it might have been a little slow. Uh, but it's supposed to be done. That's the uh, Cool Springs Road and uh, Hunter Lake. Okay. And uh, we're doing a little chipping up there too on one of your roads this week. We have one and it's uh, for maintenance. Yeah. Nathus. Yeah. We do a little bit. Yeah, there. we talked about that. Too. Yeah. The one house, uh, it was gravel and getting so much dust down through there. That we wanted to get that for that those folks, and uh, from uh, my part of the house bill money, I'm probably going to do another road in the a piece of a road in the fifth district. But I'll talk to you about it that next week. Uh, there's a right if you turn off of up at Bay, uh, between Base Town and uh, Gill Strap, where you turn off on uh, Flint Springs. Flint Springs. <coughs> it just needs like there's one house. It really gets dusty, and we need to check in that. We okay. can do them probably 500 feet. We'll okay. do it. We'll maybe me and you get up there and check on that okay. while they're chipping. Let's do it. We'll do that. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Has anybody uh, else got anything for the good of the body? Anybody else got anything to bring before us? If if not, uh, we'll uh, say everybody keep uh, Israel in your prayers. Because believe me, they're tied very strongly to us, to America, and everything in that region is uh, is count. America counts on uh, counts on uh, Israel to take care of course. So with that, we're going to call this meeting adjourned.